My name is Dan Chilson and this is a Volkswagen powered Lakester. We run in the two liter class or known as G, blown gas Lakester. And this is Volkswagen powered. We run a two liter block with a 1.8 liter 16 valve twin, over cam, twin overhead uh, cam engine in it. And we use uh, web racing cams. The engine is uh, dry sumped and we also run a mechanical uh, water pump on it. Uh, pressurize the block with about 30 pounds of water pressure so that we can keep everything cool. Uh, it's turbocharged. It's got a Garrett T4 turbo on it. Run uh, upwards of 20 pounds of boost. Uh, this event we're going to go a, a little bit above and beyond that. We've had uh, one fast run through the mile at 212 and other than uh, the factory we that we know it's the uh, world's fastest Volkswagen powered car. Um, we have a ice box here for our intercooler and the air comes out of the uh, the turbo we run it around through there and up through the manifold in the engine uh, the transmission is a transaxle it's still a Volkswagen we have Webster gears in it and we run a five with a five speed we have a small motorcycle radiator here out of a Honda 750 that we use uh, to help keep our radiator water cool. It's kind of a secondary unit. We use the water tank down below here which holds about 8 to 10 gallons of water and our mechanical water pump is the primary source for cooling in the engine and this, this just cools the water afterwards. In the back here is fuel tank and at the back of the car we have parachute. Uh, moving up on this side here you can see the exhaust coming out of the turbo and we have and run Hillborn mechanical fuel injection. It's uh, made for a turbo car and the regular fuel lines are black here and at an idle when it's unboosted the yellow lines feed it air so that the vehicle can idle. And down in kind of the front of the car there at the bottom is our oil tank. Uh, that's a reservoir that holds 10 quarts of oil for our dry sump system and then we use uh, Edelbrock Quick Data as a data recorder where we capture uh, oil pressure, uh, boost pressure, uh, engine RPM and as well as the uh, four exhaust gas temperatures and then front wheel speed. This is kind of an insight as to the uh, driver's compartment, kind of what goes on here during a, a run and everything or what the driver has to actually do besides steer the car. On our particular car, obviously we have the, the steering wheel here. It is a, uh, a five-speed gearbox, but we have removed reverse and first. We run second gear uh, at the top pattern here, down to third, over for fourth, and back down for fifth in a regular H pattern. We have a master battery control, oil pressure, two warning lights, one for oil, one for water. We use a remote battery to start, so we have our starter switch. There's a water pump that is electrical that feeds that radiator we were talking about and then the fan for it and then our ignition that's on. It's hard to see from this angle, but up inside there we have a fire nozzle and another one here for the driver, so there's two. Should anything go wrong, and we need those, they're operated by these two controls here. One here works for the engine. We remove the safety pin for the run and then the driver simply pushes that forward. And then there's another one over here on this side for the actual for the driver. The parachute is done electrically here on the steering wheel with a solenoid uh, that pulls the release cable. Should this system fail we have a redundant or a backup manual release that's right here. And since it's mechanical fuel injection, we have to manually turn the fuel off and on during the run. So to start the car, we turn the fuel on, ignition on, our master switch, and hit the start button till the engine fires. I'm already in the car. Dad closes the hood, checks to make sure everything is okay. Driver goes through the run. We start out uh, in second gear off of the push truck at about 35 miles an hour. And at that time, you can just let the clutch out and you're kind of at that idle speed. And as you begin to accelerate with the, with the throttle, you pull away from the truck. Uh, what's not shown here is we have a canopy that covers this and a shift light up front. 
and we'll run the engines, uh, this engine to about 8,000, 8,500 RPM and shift down into second gear or, or our second gear. The speeds on the gear were about 75 in our first gear, about 130, 135 on up into what is third or being a five speed fourth gear and that runs to about 175 and here at Bonneville I want to shift into high gear at one mile down the race course. So I'll, I'll come back into fifth, which is high gear, and I'll pull that for the next two miles. Uh, wide open throttle. At the end of the run, uh, push in the clutch, hit my parachute, and because the compartment is so tight, my hands are out in front of me like this, I have to do everything cross-handed. So my left hand will come over and shut the fuel off, and I'm able to work the switches on this side. But if I need the fire bottle for the driver, I'll have to come over, you know, so everything is cross hand because I'm very tight in, in the thing. So again, uh, end of the run, push in the clutch, press the parachute there, and, and it really deaccelerates the car from about 175 down to about, uh, down to about 70, 100, 100 miles an hour in about six to eight seconds. So it's a, it's a 125 mile an hour drop in about six to eight seconds on the chute. And then at that time, you know, as soon as I hit the chute, while I'm shutting the fuel off, shutting the ignition off, finding neutral, and then, you know, coasting out to a stop. We're after a personal, a personal best this trip around. And if we could get 220 or better, that would be really, really good for us. We've been at 212. You know, it's an eight mile an hour improvement, but uh, in that 220 range or above, we would be very happy. And you're the driver, right? And I am the driver, yes. And who's the builder? Uh, my dad, Bob Chilson. Both of us, uh, he primarily works on the car, uh, does all the machine work on it, assembles the engine, assembles and disassembles the car. I help when I can, and then I do all the uh, Healy arc welding on the car, both for tanks and manifolds, exhaust, uh, as well as the frame. So it's, it's kind of a two-person operation, father and son.